get it done. And, and then the pamphlet, they only have three students, and you got to have four to have the class. And, and it's not hard to do, but it just takes a long time to get everybody ready to go. And this year we had three of us that had to get it done. So hopefully we don't have that. I mean, we might lose one or something a year. But. I had several people come up to me after ruining one of the shakles and do their activities. And they were more impressed with the bus than anything else. <laughs> Not so much the activities, yeah. the bus was great. That over the coast type, the coast bus they have over the road. They got a big bus. Yeah, I know. It's like a Greyhound. Mm -hmm. yeah. We we had one at Southwest where I was before too. It was nice, but all your groups fought over who got to use it. You know that was the hard part. Everybody wanted to use it. So. <coughs> you traveled a lot. We went. Yeah, like we went to Garden County was a three-hour trip, and we did that on flights during the year. Sometimes if we played in the playoffs. So. Is it more expensive with air brakes than with hydraulic, or when you mm -hmm. buy the bus? I think you'd be happy with the air brakes. Yeah. I think they'd be safer. Yeah. 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 This is something we'll talk about later. We'll get sure. the prices if we sure. decide to go that way. Right. What you want for specifications, we would recommend. Yeah. To Anything more for Bob or any questions on any of the information I sent you? Um, I, I tried to be, I tried to identify everything and tried to be as clear as I can, but if I wasn't, I'd be glad to, to answer questions on any of that. I think I, I gave you an approximate budget if we took it over again. I gave you some approximate prices on on vehicles. Um, to, <coughs> for example, if you want to go to that D, you want to go to that one that's marked D. Just a couple of thoughts to, to, to put in your head is that on the 2011 Bluebird Vision, that would be a brand new. If we wanted to buy a brand new bus, it's 79,000. But he also said right now he just did a five-year lease with Silver Lake, and the interest rate is 3.61 percent for a five-year lease. If we wanted to spread it out over five years too, so it's pretty good. If we didn't want to pay it all at once and use our depreciation money. Those other prices there are estimates off of Masters Transportation, which is Russ Fultz, who lives over by Milton. The mid-size bus, IDA Part B, it's actually 56000 if you get a wheelchair lift in it, but we have 52000 in stimulus money that we can apply towards that, so it will pretty much pay for it. But we have to use that stimulus money this year anyway. So Now, if we get back into it too, uh, with our fuel, locking in fuel, et cetera. Can we do something like that? I mean, well, I mean, there, there's just so many. In the past, whenever I have approached the board about locking in fuel, we didn't do it because they wanted to share it between all of the, the vendors. When I was at Southwest, we put out a bid, and one vendor would get the bid, and they would just guarantee you like five cents off the pump price or something like that. We would just go with one vendor, but I've talked about that here previously and it was always no, we want to share with all of our vendors so we've never we've never bid it out. So, and I would assume that that's what we still want to do because we have you know that was involved with the yeah, Casey's corner stop and lick I mean we, we try to rotate between the three. And we don't we probably don't go to Casey's as much. We probably use our smaller vehicles there. We probably take the big buses more to corner stop and Lick these bottles there, right? Or yeah, Casey doesn't have diesel. So, so. And I actually think right now that corn stops giving us a better price than what he's got on the pump, too. So when he called me, he said he would work with us that way. So. Mid states, you just have like a charge card, yeah. right, Bob? Yeah. So all, all buses have a card in it. They just plug in the, the information and they fill off those cards. It's mid states pays the bill and then bills us for anything over the dollar eighty four. Uh, the good thing about that is you can, if you're in Lincoln and need fuel, you can get it anywhere off that card. So it's nice to have those in the bus. 
normally we don't have a problem. Normally they're full before they leave and we make sure they are. But How does Dell's advocate the county bought their diesel for the last three years and that came up once every year? So, <laughs> yeah, that's that's part of that. That's fine. That's you can do what you want, but it hasn't worked the way. That's the best way, though, is just to get a bid so much off the pump price. That's the only way to stay ahead of it. That's the only way I want them to do it. They won't do it. If you can't take a transport load at a time or whatever, they won't bid a good year anymore. If we do this, would we have to like rotate by one bus a year? I, I mean, trade with one and I would think at least at least yeah. every other year, maybe. Did you every year? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have to buy all these at once. Right. Well, we could well, lease we the new ones. You can lease the new one and then charge it. We could pay for the midsize with stimulus. So basically, you know, we'd have to buy five used buses. We got we got the hundred and ten thousand in Cornerstone Bank, Jim. That was, was used to uh, they bought they bought ninety five thousand dollars worth, and it's that the interest is over hundred and ten. I don't know what it is, but plus we put money in depreciation for this purpose. So we yeah, I don't think really financially it's going to be that big a deal. To be honest with you, I think we put money away to do this. We knew the contract was going to be up. We we prepared ourselves. And they'd sell us back that 2005 if we, if we wanted. We would try for that. Uh, yeah. Wasn't that in the deal that they'd sell them back? The first year. Oh. Remember, remember the first year was a trial run? It. Not in the contract, but, you know, I guess how mad are we going to make them when they sell it back to us? I don't know, but yeah. I wouldn't count on it. Let's put it that way, but we'd try for it. It looks like you have other options. We have other for options. For that age, brother. Yeah. yeah. So, kid wise, they'd be very appreciative of having some more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mid states. I don't think. I've been mad for parents. We should have taken care of that ourselves because you can buy the magnet strip if it's yeah. over. And I just, it wasn't that big a deal to me, but I, I should, we should have done it, Sean. It would, it would, does mean it's a pride thing. It is. It is. Well, as I say, I want to yeah. see that for our new fans. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Screaming pants are coming down the road. <laughs> Any other questions on that or discussion? I think we need to keep the discussion. Again, we got two new board members coming on next month. Keep the discussion. But I think by the February meeting, we should make a decision because that's what both the guy at the new bus company and the used bus company said. You know, you, you got plenty of time. We'll help you. No big deal. But when we have a bus ready, you have to act upon it. Okay? Now, I realize that, you know, you don't, by law, you don't have to take bids on buses. Bids are for construction, remodel, and repair. You don't have to, since we don't have, you know, a dog in the fight, that local person that sells buses, then, you know, I think we should just act upon it when we find one, whether we want a, a committee of two board members and me and Bob to at least go look at the bus or something like that. If we decide to go that way, I would be more than happy to, to do that. But I think it's a situation where you know, when, when they come off lease and they're a used bus and they're good, we can't hem haw around. We're going to have to, to get them because we don't want to be, we don't want it to be August 1st and we're not prepared either. So, uh, both those new buses, if we get a mid size new or a full new one, uh, there's only one Bluebird company in Nebraska and Bluebird has basically been our fleet. If you want to go to something else, the word I get from superintendents is that the Bluebird is the easiest one for mechanics to work on. If you get a Thomas bus or an International, you got to send them away to get worked on. There's nobody local that can do it. So, you know, I, in my mind, you know, we should stay with Bluebird, and that's the company that's been treating us the best. And there's only one dealer in Nebraska, and he'll get a surprise, and, and I think we need to go with it. But, Board wants to send out bids. I'm glad we do that, but I think I think this is kind of an emergency situation where we want to get her done before August. So. <coughs> and I don't know. I uh, I'm not pleased with the contract offer that Mid State sent us. If they would have sent us something more reasonable, I'd probably be marking the other way, saying, you know, maybe we should try it again. But I I'm not. I think it was unreasonable with the contract. And I think that we have always 
honored our contract and we have kept our part of the bargain for five years. And I'm not sure they have. Uh, I would have said that I think our, we've gotten good service for the last five years, and I think we did. I don't think our kids suffered any. And that's, to me, the, the best thing about this decision is really not, it's not, a, it's does not going to affect the kids one way or the other. I think, I think we have good drivers. We have the plan. Uh, it's a matter of what's the right thing economically, financially, you know, for our district. And right now, I would say it looks like getting back in the bus business ourselves looks the best to me. Only my opinion. You can disagree. That's fine. But like I said a month ago, I probably told you the other way around. But after seeing that proposal, I don't. I think we can get back in it. I don't think they made much money on it. I really don't. I think we had a pretty good bargain. If you look at the cost analysis that I said, you know, I, you know, I'm sure they had to make some money, but they must not have made much because you sure up there with the They didn't do it to Thayer Central. 3% increase on their new contract, just like they had before. And then Cross County Superintendent emailed me today, and he sat down with the 3% increase on theirs, too. So ours was totally different. Either he didn't make money on us, or he doesn't want to, doesn't want to do it with us anymore. So. We gave him too many headaches, Bob. Maybe, uh, maybe he didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? questions? I think we can try to keep it as a discussion next month, so we have our new board members on here. Is there anything? And I sent them all that information. They got all the same thing, so. Yes or no. You know, there's another issue, plus we got sewer lines, there's a ton of stuff. So I'm sitting there looking at it 